Well, photographers will tell you uh, bigger cameras see better in the dark. Okay, and that's why scientists say the biggest camera ever made will show us things about the night sky that we've never seen before. Yeah, ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom stepped into the giant clean room built especially to assemble that camera at the Slack National Accelerator Lab in Menlo Park. They're not what you'd call ordinary work clothes. Then again, this is no ordinary workplace. This is a giant room that's very, very clean. Um, and we're going to build a really big camera in here. A camera destined for a Chilean mountaintop where it will take the widest, deepest images of the night sky ever made. A full panorama every few nights. We're basically taking a really big movie of the sky and we're going to do that for 10 years. The large synoptic survey telescope could answer great mysteries of the universe. One of the goals is to study dark energy and dark matter. So these are things we don't really know what they are, but we know they exist. Like the wind, you can't see it, but you can see it moving things around. Artificial intelligence will tell us astronomers where to look. We're going to have alerts coming every night, things that are changing, things that are new. Though the camera will sit here on Earth, it'll actually have something in common with the depths of space. Inside it will be a cold, dark vacuum. If you have a little speck of dust on your sensor and you're trying to see a really dim star, you're going to block out all the light from that star. So the camera has to be kept free of dust, air, heat and static electricity by a refrigeration and pump system designed here at the Slack National Accelerator Lab. This is a test unit for a single Raft. A raft has nine sensors and there are 21 rafts, each worth about a million dollars. One by one, they'll test and calibrate them in this tube. We have a refrigeration system. That's the copper that you see inside. Then put them together and test the whole thing in this dark box where Vincent Lee is making sure no light gets in. The leaks are the size of like a needle. They'll line them up with lasers. So we can get a flat image. We don't want them to be crooked relative to each other. Then assemble a finished camera the size of a car within five years. We're going to see how planets and galaxies are changing, how things are moving, how they relate to one another. And maybe where we came from or where we're headed. In Menlo Park, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.